Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In your reincarnation, let's do the first of hopefully a few showcase videos for Dragon Quest Sarafa. I was very excited about her uh, kit as we got uh, closer and closer to her release. And then I can also talk about like my early thoughts on the uh, the costume and like uh, what might be a good way to uh, build them. But here, this might be the most important part, uh, but her karma, First one, I just got the uh, first one that gave me uh, no agility. I don't want agility on her. And then for the second, I went for the defense up. And then for the third, I went just for the fire uh, damage taken down. There are better ones, I think. In Karma Slot 2, uh, we can get the, uh, the one-time heal if her HP goes below 70. All tanks want that, I think. And then for this one, the uh, third slot, uh, there is the uh, the damage mitigation barriers. I think eventually I want to go there, uh, but for this video at least, I want to test her without those uh, to see how well she can do. So yeah, over the course of videos, I'll be kind of like, uh, kind of working towards uh, my ideal build for her, I guess you could say. All right, and there are her stats. Uh, HP is not so high, but defense is very high uh, for a tank that we're talking about. Uh, main weapon, I am going for uh, Noelle's, maybe for uh, big damage from uh, weapon skills. Uh, but as we shall see from the fights, she's not going to get a ton of damage from there. Uh, but actually, she has a lot of options uh, for the uh, the primary weapon. A lot of uh, water spears with interesting uh, skill sets. There's one even with a heal, so you could heal in the middle of arena if you wanted. And then this is her own weapon. This would also be an interesting choice because she has two weapon skills that uh, scale off of defense. The multiplier never gets very high, 35%, uh, but if her defense is high enough, maybe that'll be okay anyway. But yeah, all of the uh, Argo fans that I saw on uh, Japanese Twitter, they were very excited about this spear. <laughs> and then for this one here, I think I just for the uh, liquid boon and like the stats, I think. But yeah, this is the one with the uh, heal for the party. Oh, and status effect. <laughs> and then memoirs, I don't know. These are just like HP and defense up. Uh, the debris, that's to support the party. And yeah, I took her to uh, level 100, and her slabs are 167. For the moment, for this video at least, I'm really just trying to test her uh, tanking capabilities. Not really focusing on uh, attack too much. Okay, that'll do it for talking about the uh, setup. Let's look at a few matches. And then in the beginning here, I'm just going to go full auto. Uh, but as I go along, I'm going to shift more and more to uh, full manual. And if you know me, you know that I don't really like to play manual arena. But I feel like this Sarafa is uh, so much fun that it makes me want to play manually. So that kind of gives a hint how much I like her. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the auto battle... Uh, both the uh, character skills from uh, Summer Yuri and then Sarafa come out right away. And then this battle will be a good uh, chance to show off kind of like how short her um, Dauntless, I think it is. But we can see that the icon is already gone. So finally with this attack from Yuri, she'll go to zero. Dauntless is gone, so she will not go to one HP. She'll just go down. But she actually took all of the attacks, so from a tank's point of view, that did the job. And then uh, notably, she does not have a one-time heal uh, with this setup. Uh, but she does have damage mitigation barriers from Summer Yuri. Okay, finish the battle with uh, Dark Memory Griff's character skill. I recently took him to uh, Karma 3 as well, give him the, um, the haste, cooldown haste. So we're kind of going for like an all-water team with a focus on uh, defense. And then both Yuri and Sarafa can buff defense for the party. So uh, Griff likes that. He has the uh, Summer Yuri gun for defense up. And here I'm excited to show off this battle because we got uh, Festive Lavania. I'm jealous of everyone that has him. I think he's a good tank. I've seen some uh, JP players do really, really tanky stuff with him. And then he has uh, some advantages uh, over Udeal 
both on offense and defense teams. So I do think he's good, but I haven't really seen anyone on Global, that I fought anyway, make super good use of him. Okay, so here too, uh, the, uh, the Dauntless is long gone on Sarafa, uh, but she's tanking everything. And then, um, I'm kind of a fan of the character. I like the Onesons. And this is the first time I've ever used a Sarafa in an arena team, so yeah, very cool. <laughs> Uh, one of the options for uh, Sarafa is the uh, the Dark Memory Spear with the AoE attack po for poison. But ever since Summer Yuri came out, I have kind of lost interest in AoE attacks. Even going so far as to put non-proficient weapons on zero, just to uh, you know speed up that animation time. So I don't know if I would ever do that as a uh, primary weapon on this Sarafa, but it is an option. Might be good for. Um, Fate boards or tower. All right, but here we're going against a full tanky team, and when I say full tanky team, I mean all three characters are tanky. And I don't think it's that good for a defense team, unless you have like a whale account. It's not going to get uh, good enough damage output, especially with a uh, summer Yuri running around. Yeah, look at those attack animations on Sarafa. <laughs> uh, if you wanted to make um, this kind of a team, you could put any attacker in there for Dark Memory Griff. I'm not using him for any particular reason, except he's got like nice uh, defense synergy. And then I just uh, karma him up, so I wanted to try him out. But yeah, isn't this full circle? We got Bloody Griff over there. That's the last Provoke tank that I pulled. And that was like November last year, so it's been almost a full year since I've gotten a new Provoke tank. I missed Anniversary Udeal. I missed Lavania the other day. So yeah, it does feel good to get uh, Sarafa here. Okay, so here too we're still going for a full auto, and then the uh, the Dauntless is just uh, it's going away too quickly. It only lasts 15 seconds. So that's why I want to play manually with this team, so I can kind of time her character skill a little bit later. Uh, but by not putting up the uh, Provoke, that... Um, leaves my other guys open to being, you know, agility sniped like there. So I want to add in Summer Yuri to give uh, barriers to my party. But even there did not help. <laughs> okay, so there we're seeing the uh, the first showing of Defiance, taking one weapon skill, taking two. And it wore off there. Uh, but yeah, 15 seconds is usually going to be good enough for uh, three weapon skills from the uh, opponent. Or like two weapon skills and a uh, companion. I saw some talk on Japanese Twitter that if it lasted for 20 seconds, that would be overpowered. So <laughs> yeah, I think it's 15 seconds for a good reason. It's short, but it's still useful. The timing is the tricky thing, however. Okay, but here let's go against this party again. This is going to be like a series. Um, I'm doing this one again full auto from the beginning and all the way through because my Griff got agility sniped. I wanted to see what would happen if he did not go down. And there we're seeing the uh, the Defiance, uh, the Dauntless go off right away. And yep, taking the three weapon skills. Dauntless is gone, Provoke is still up, she'll take the next weapon skill. And then that will leave one more weapon skill to go to Yuri. My first thought is that that pattern would be like the ideal way uh, to use Sarafa, her character skill. 
Like if you could take the agility snipes and then the first three weapon skills or whatever, depending on uh, how many attackers they have, then you could take the remaining three weapon skills with the, uh, the Dauntless and then they just be left wide open for your own weapon skills. But I'm still wondering if that's the way to go. Okay, one more time against this team. <laughs> and then this time I'm going to play manually. And I'm going to wait until the opponent has the uh, three weapon skills charged and then do the character skill for Sarafa. So we'll do that, and then after that we'll uh, turn on auto again, get my own weapon skills out. But yeah, with no provoke, they're still attacking me. <laughs> Griff goes down, okay, and then the character skill comes out. And then their three weapon skills uh, should come out. Hopefully Yuri didn't eat up too much time there. So there's one, two, oh no wait, she's not even at one HP. <laughs> so yeah, timing is tricky with this character skill. And so for that reason, I wonder how good she would be on a defense party. Like, she might be too slow, you know, on a defense party to um, get the Defiance, or the Dauntless, to use against, like, agility snipers. But then would be too fast to uh, take advantage. <laughs> to uh, go to zero HP within those first few attacks. And that's why I'm wondering if like, maybe she doesn't want one-time heal. Maybe she doesn't want damage mitigation barriers. Maybe she just wants to get to that uh, Dauntless immediately and then take those first few attacks. That might be what I do in the next uh, arena video, is uh, pair her with not Summer Yuri <laughs> and then see what a uh, early character skill can uh, do. So yeah, here we're going against a, a tanky team, so they have kind of slower cooldown overall, so the uh, the Dauntless wore off. And then this will be another series. We'll go against this team a few times. Uh, but we'll turn auto off, and then we'll wait for some uh, weapon skills to charge, and then we'll do the um, Sarafa character skill. If on their uh, on the opponent's team, if I see like some agility snipers, then maybe I'll do the demon tap on my uh, summer Yuri, but I'll wait on Sarafa's character skill. And then, as usual, my summer Yuri she is built so that with that uh, top weapon skill, uh, she can maybe uh, punch through Udeal's uh, one-time heal. And that also benefits from being played uh, manually. Okay, so there we're seeing the Dauntless come out on Sarafa. But long gone by the time Zero's next attack is going to come out. Or the Companion. <laughs> All right, there's the character skill. Doesn't do a lot of damage because of Summer Yuri. All right, there goes my Summer Yuri. Uh, but Griff, it's got a lot of defense. Not enough for there though. <laughs> All right, we'll go against that team again. And then here, I'm not gonna wait so long for uh, my weapon skills. So whenever they get charged up, I'll start uh, using them. And we'll see if we can get the timing right with Sarafa's character skill. Okay, right after Zero's first weapon skill, before the second. Gomiga. Okay, good. Take down you deal there. All right, there goes my Yuri. There goes the character skill. Take the attack. 
take the companion, and then they're out of skills. So yeah, another case where I'm not going to be able to take advantage of the uh, Dauntless. But yeah, she's doing fine as a tank. I think she'd be pretty good even without the Dauntless. <laughs> but it adds an interesting wrinkle to her uh, skill set. If you can really make it work, I think, yeah, it'd be overpowered. All right, here we have another Circus Slavania. That's fun. Yeah, and if I were to do this battle again, I would do the Demon Tap on my Yuri. <laughs> okay. I still have to work on the um, the timing of the weapon skills so that I can get out more without anybody kind of freezing. And there I was too late with the uh, character skill on Sadafa, so there uh, Gale was able to do some damage. Yeah, but we're taking these attacks pretty well. And I use too many weapon skills on that Gale. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a sloppy win, but I'll take it. Alright, who do we have here? Okay, this looks like a faster team, so I'll do the Demon Tap on Yuri. Not quite fast enough. And we'll wait for uh, half of the weapon skills to charge. And then we'll do Sarafa's character skill. Okay. Alright, let's see how this works. Nope, oh, take down their Gale. That's good. I kind of wanted to leave her up, though, just to see the uh, the attacks hitting my uh, Sarafa. <laughs> but let's see if we can get into a Dauntless. Okay, there we go. 1 HP. Can we get in one more? No, okay. Yeah, that 15 seconds, that's not very long. But it can be long enough. <laughs> All right. Okay, one last battle. What's this? Okay, classic tanky team plus AoE. It might be interesting to try this kind of uh, tanky AoE with um, this Sarafa and then um, Summer Yuri. But I'm just so over that team build. <laughs> All right, can we enter Dauntless? Okay. Depends on the uh, damage output from the guys here. Okay, there we go, one HP. Can we eat up the attack from Udeal? Nope, he's dead. <laughs> okay, there goes Akeha. But yeah, as we're seeing, not amazing damage from Sarafa. I think she has the potential. I just have to build her differently. Okay, let's see if my Griff can pull off the win. Okay, so that was an early look, early build, early review of uh, Dragon Quest Sarafa. I'm having a ton of fun with the character, but I'll keep testing her, see if she can really function at a uh, high level. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.